Shona, you there? Tail. I don't want to attract attention. I'm on my way. I won't be long. Jonah, I made it. I'm on my way in. Almost there. Sorry I didn't wait. Be careful. This place. Guess all that research paid off. Now we know what Trinity's after. Yeah, they really didn't want us in here. I'm glad we followed your father's notes. Mm-hmm. I saw where the passage collapsed on you back there. You want me to take a look at that wound? No, I'm fine. What is all this? Constellations. This inscription is some sort of riddle. Pink fish. Pink fish? A silver crowned mountain. There's a date here. But something's off. It looks like it was damaged, perhaps intentionally. Why would Trinity sabotage this? They usually just destroy everything. And no, I think the damage is older. Laura! You gotta get it.
If you had him drag me out, I'd still be in there taking pictures. You'd still be in there. Don't know if you'd be doing much. Tona. Hey, you want to freshen up? Regroup at the cafe? Dr. Dominguez is supposed to be there tonight. Sounds good. I'll try and decipher the riddle, see if the date has anything to do with it. Right. Pinkfish, Silver Crown Mountains, I'll look into it. By the way, this cafe is supposed to have really good food. I know the chef. Uh, I'm not very hungry. <laughs> After all of that, I'm starving. <laughs> Dr. Dominguez? Not much. He's leading a few Trinity digs in the area. My father mentioned him in his journal more than once. He's an expert on pre-colonial ruins. Everyone says he's a great guy. Big help to the town. So how's your leg? Trying to look. The riddle. Its directions. To find the hidden city, go south along the shore until you find the pink fish. I, I found something for that. It's pink dolphins, found only in the Amazon. It goes on, um, then chase the heart of the serpent to the silver-crowned mountain. Look at this. It's the constellation Hydra, the serpent. This star is the heart. It's set in the southwest. So southwest from the Amazon River, Brazil. Peru. Peru? Okay, um, this date from the ruins, see? If you look closely, it is damaged. This number looks like a Maya 13, but what if it's really an eight? With procession, it- What? Uh, procession. The Earth tilts, so over time, these stars appear in a different place on the horizon. Important if you're navigating by the night sky. Okay. In the Maya calendar, that's a 2,000 year difference. Back then, the heart of the serpent set directly to the west. So, that's why it's in Peru, not Brazil. Trinity has been looking in the wrong place. Exactly. We need to look for the Silver Crown Mountain in Peru. There's more. Um, something about uh, a key. What is Trinity looking for in the hidden city? Doctor, we found it. Yes? Show me. You heard that too, right? Let's see where he goes. Wait, hold on. Trinity's watching this place. Let's try to blend in. Stop! Don't hurt her. Lara Croft. This isn't the way I hope with me. You know I've been interested in your work. Trinity always is. in a safe place. You don't have it. It never occurred to me that you would just take it. With this key and the silver box, we can remake the world. Without witness, cruelty. And certainly with none of this. But without the box. 
the apocalypse, the death of the sun. You're lying. Lara, you felt it when you took the key. Tremors are common. A tsunami is coming, and this is the first of many catastrophes you're doing! You would have done the same! has begun. It falls to me now to stop it before it consumes us all. I failed. Was. What do you mean? Dominguez. He has the dagger. I lost it. After everything that my father went through, I gave Trinity exactly what they wanted. He'll use the box and the knife to remake the world. To remake it into what? I don't know. He thinks he can rid it of sin and weakness. Amen. We have to stop him. It's all my fault. We'll figure it out, okay? I, I promise. No, 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 no! We have to get to the hidden city before Trinity! We have to find the silver box! Okay, but first, we're gonna help these people get to safety, and then we'll go after the box. No, no one is safe! Not if he gets the box first! I have to go! I'm the only one! You're the only one that cannot! You don't know that you caused all this, Lara! Not everything is about you! These people need us here. We can do good now! Besides, what do we gotta go on? A riddle? We're gonna need more than pink fish and silver crowns to get to the hidden city. I'm gonna help these people. And then I'll find us a plan. I think we're looking for a volcanic mountain. The crown of silver is probably a band of clouds. I just can't get those people back there out of my head. They lost everything. The riddle says... Chase the heart of the serpent to the Silver Crown Mountain, where the twins confer. I wonder what the twins are. This storm looks like bad news. It's just a little rain. We'll concentrate on the Cloudy Mountain. Cloudy Mountain. If we find it, 
How do we know we have the right one? Gut feeling? It's our only clue. The mural says there'll be more disasters. The best way we can help them is to put a stop to it and Trinity. Okay. But how do we really know? Jonah, what I felt when I took the dagger. You mean the tremors of the tsunami? More than that. It felt like I woke something up. I know that it's not practical. I know that it's hard to believe, but you need to trust me. We have to trust each other. Hey, I might have something over here. Really? <gasps> That's it! I don't like this storm. Should we come back in the morning? We're so close. I guess a little turbulence wouldn't stop Trinity either. Miguel, is there anywhere to land? Yeah, I can put you down near Kuak Jaku. Let's go. Miguel? Miguel? <clears throat> Miguel?
Michael, you killed. Hey, do you know what happened to Miguel? He didn't make it. What's wrong with your arm? Ah, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some warm wood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. Oh, hey, what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. Uh, you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward. <laughs> Flying into that storm. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> Jonah. I, I, I'm with you. It's my choice, most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. Maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. <laughs> Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? No, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Thanks. We should go. If we can find Quark. On three, two, one. make camp. Let me take a look at that. It's not pretty. <laughs> you know, with everything we've been through recently, I've been thinking about my brother. I always tried to protect him from my father, from himself, but I lost him. You did everything you could. If I had been in the right place, at the right time, he would still be here. If I had eyes in the back of my head. You can't protect everyone.
<laughs> Thank you. I miss him. I know. My parents. I miss them too. I had a dream about my mother recently. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It was so vivid. <laughs> When I was little, my father used to keep things from me. Hide things. About her, especially. Why would he do that? After she died, he thought they'd cause me pain. It didn't stop me from looking for them, of course. <laughs> but I still have so many questions. Your dad created as many mysteries as he solved. Dominguez used the silver box of his shell to remake the world. If you had that power, what would you do? <laughs> Panic, probably. Hmm. You wouldn't go back to when your brother was alive and be with him again. Um, and lose everything else? No way. I like this world. It's... It's not perfect. But everything I love now is in it. Claim her treasure. The adventurer Lara Croft must outwit the king, reach the forbidden tomb, and solve the mystery of the White Queen. The way will be fraught with trials. Lara, are you doing your maths homework? The adventurer should not dally any longer. In a minute! I'm bad, said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile said bats i'm not afraid of bats i'm not afraid of anything tell me about this you and me are riding a t-rex in egypt where's daddy at work with what you have. Oh, for goodness sake, you don't have to deal with it! Dad? Please, for goodness sake, you've got to understand. This is probably the most important one I've arrived at. But, well, okay, what do I do? I have to... Dad? Don't leave. 
Morning. There's a road. Let's check it out. What's going on? Shit, Trinity, get down. Damn. Got stuck. I can see that. What are we doing about Follow my lead. How the hell am I supposed to know? What are you doing? Get back. Hide. You're the logistics guy, aren't you? I'm not the one who go onto a bottom bridge. Oh, hold up! I got him! Hold on. Oh, no, you don't! Fuck you! Stop! Thanks. You okay? Yeah. Take this. You do the talking. Hi. Do you know if there's a place nearby we can stay for the night? How'd you get so deep into the jungle? You lose your tour group or something? <sighs> no. There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Well, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby, Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. <sighs> so, what are you here for exactly? Well, we were following a riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. Yeah. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya, you know you're in Peru, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No. Don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where do you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There's some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Oh, be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Uh, 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 why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Well, I'm not going to say no to that. Have fun. You too. <laughs> you want to make a deal? Huh. Ah, hello. Are you here with the excavation team? No, just passing through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. You can resupply before you move on. Thank you. Everything all right? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. 
and then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> what little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Thanks. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? I blew up my knee, so Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise he'd keep working your son. Yeah. I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please. Pablo told me what you did. I... I don't know what to say, apart from thank you. Of course. You know, many years ago when my grandfather was still a boy, men came here and tried to cut down the wilderness. Everyone was afraid to stand up to them, except my grandfather. A 15-year-old boy with an empty gun stood on the edge of the village and held back machines and men twice his size. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. I still have the gun he used to hold them back. I'd like you to have it, as a symbol of courage and my gratitude. Don't you want to give that to Pablo? My boy wants to be a doctor, like his mother. Say, what's your name anyway? Lara. I'll have a new story to tell. Listen, I know it hurts, but. Mouth <gasps> Thank you. Wager! Wager! Who are you? What's your purpose here? I'm a researcher, Lara Croft. They'll be back. We must find safety. Bring her. You're not only my son, you're my heir. You must not court unnecessary danger. Had you not been there, would this woman have found us? I'm glad you're safe. If you're not with the cult, how did you find this place? I followed a map from a temple. I was expecting ruins, not you or any of this. The cult. Why did they attack your son? 
I recognize their insignia. I know them as Trinity. I'm trying to stop them. Stop them from doing what? They're looking for an artifact. Uh, some sort of box connected to a moon goddess. Why do you want it? To steal it? Sell it? No. I just can't let Trinity, the cult, get to it first. They're too dangerous. Why? What have they done to you? They killed my father. Can I show you something? Do you know what this is? This is Paititi. You're already here. Paititi, city. But what's this eye? That is a place of death and sacrifice. And you think your artifact is there? Yes. No, none who has gone has ever returned. I'd be willing to try. You would risk it simply to stop the cult? Yes. Bring him in. Jonah. Are you okay? Do you know this man? He's my best friend. Abby. She's fine. Who else is looking for you? There's no one else. I believe we're seeking the same thing. We will bring you the serpent with the silver eye, but we'll keep your friend here. You won't get very far if you're lying, and he will not be comfortable. You don't need to do that. It's, it's fine. I'll stay. Etsli, get this woman some clothes. Would you? Keep him company. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right. Pretty nice place. Quiet. This is incredible. You've already spoken to them, haven't you? I have. But you still don't see it. They all had hope. You need to do better than that if you want to win the game, Lara. Hope is one thing, but all those who have been cast out have thrived in their new lives, despite their circumstances. Even you, Pisco. Well, I am the best Patoli player Paititi has ever known. <laughs> Not bad for a dead man. <laughs> Not bad at all. So again, what did you learn? I learned that sacrifice can make your life better. That you shouldn't be constrained by the legacy of your family. You can find your own path. Love is stronger than death. And you need to believe in something greater than yourself. But ultimately, you can't control everything. It's what you make of your situation that defines you. Well said, Lara. You're sure you're not dead? <laughs> Taki thinks he lost his dice because he was unlucky. But it's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. I see that now. What did you think of Moreka, the outcast? She was expecting me. She seemed to know quite a bit about me. Ah, she knows a lot about everything, Ishiki. She has the most wondrous items in her shop. Artifacts known only to the gods. I saw. You were lucky you found her. She often travels outside of Paititi, gathering inventory. She seemed the most optimistic. Of course she is. We have a saying in Paititi. We all create destiny. We don't choose our circumstances, only our actions. A lesson my friend Taki needs to learn. Well played. Thank you, Pisco. I'll bring the dice back to Taki.
I found your dice, Taki. Oh, thank you. Didn't you say Pisco stole your dice? Everyone knows Pisco steals. According to him, you wanted to play a game and you lost. He wouldn't let me play again. Just one more roll and I would have won. Pisco wanted you to know. It's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. Now that I have my dice back, I can practice more. Thanks again, Ishiki. waiting for their deity to appear. When the catastrophes come, the god Kukulkan must be sacrificed to power the sun. Otherwise, the world dies. Sacrifice a god? The sacrifice is my duty. But this cult leader will take my place and attempt to become the god. He believes we can remake the world and live in a paradise of his design. Remake the world? What? I've... Heard those words before. There he is. I know him. That's Dr. Dominguez. Behold! The instrument of our unity and salvation. Soon. Our dreams of peace and safety will be realized. They already call him Kukulkan, but his real name is Amaru. He was born here, but raised, lied to, by outsiders. The people believe in him. But you don't. My late husband, Saidi, was his brother. They had differences over the future of Paititi. When Saidi died, Amaru devoted himself to the cult. You have seen the storm. You are worried about worse to come. I ensure you that Paititi will persevere and thrive forever. I know him well. If Amaru is successful, all of us who see this paradise. The rebels will be discarded. Not if they don't find the box. Yes. Our best hope is to find it first. Perhaps Amaru might still be brought to see love and reason. Death to the outsiders! Retribution will come! Hakan! Enough! We must strike while the snake is within reach. Justice will be met in good time. Do not jeopardize or rebellion for the sake of impulse. <laughs> Etsli, go scout ahead. We'll meet you at the edge of the mountain. Last warning. Follow Etsley. Your clothing won't hide you long from these guards. Okay, I'll find the box. You've been warned to keep the peace. I was just out for a pleasant stroll with my son. <laughs> Amar is losing his patience. It won't happen again. Do you have it? It was a trap. The box was taken and... 
Unaratu was captured. We heard. We're working on a plan. She's being held at the prison by the old temple. Akan led a raid, and was taken too. We'll charge the bridge that leads to the prison. It's aggressive. What if I climb up here, free her, and then signal to attack? That could work. That's Lee scouting the temple in the upper district. He could find you a way in. I'll go talk to him. We'll have backup ready once you get her out. Sounds good. For strength and safety. Thank you. Laura. I'll get her out. I know. All full up. Can't carry any more. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Have more rebbed. Ishiki, maybe you can help. I sent five men to steal the cult of Kukul Khan's weapons for the rebellion, but the mission failed. In former times, I would have led them myself, but now I can't fight. I can't even run, or else I start to cough up blood. But I'm still a good planner, or I was until today. My comrades were caught and strung on posts throughout the lower village as a warning. They're going to hang there until they die. You said I might be able to help. Yes. With your serpent card attire, you can untie all four of them and no one will suspect you. Four? You said there were five men on the mission. There were. Kolki was leading them, but he wasn't captured along with the others. Uchu and I were talking, and... well... Uchu, what's on your mind? The day of Etsli's coronation is approaching. Soon he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. That sounds like a day to look forward to. It's the hope for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Esli's father, Sairi, died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father unto me. One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony, but... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the Savior's amulet, the champion's bow, and the king's horn. Each a blessing from the ancestors of the future king. Tell me what you need, and I'll see what I can do. I already have men retrieving the amulet and bow, but if you could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the king's horn from him, he would be doing us a great favor. He's been difficult. I sent two men and both. He'll give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quincy that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quincy perfectly. I never should have sent Quincy to that damn place. Mm. What place is that? The old cistern. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He's a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenti can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is- I present to you my own blood, my daughter, Awil. Her mind and spirit are strong. Stronger than any I've ever seen. I am so, so proud of my wheel. She will make a fine sacrifice. Here, the nectar of awakening. Hear me, Kinichahau, face of the sun.
I offered you a will, the chosen one. She will drink from the nectar of awakening, and her heart will be taken from her chest and cast onto the fire. The embers of my own flesh and blood, given to you so that you may not to extinguish the sun. Awil, it's Lara. I want you to run back to Mayu when I say, okay? Pal, Turuka is innocent. Sumak was killed by his wife, Shoko. I found the knife she used. Arrest her! No! Shoko wasn't at the market. She waited until Turuka and Akno were away, then she stabbed Sumak in the neck several times. That's a lie! Sumak fell in the passage back there. Shoko moved his body where Turuka would easily find him. Lying. Then she slammed the inner gate shut to attract Taruka's attention. She gave Akna the knife and told her to hide it. Then she confronted Taruka and blamed him for the murder. Silence! You will both be dealt with. Please, accept this as a token of our gratitude. Amaru, remember who you are. I am one of you. Yeah. Is that why you had me arrested? If my brother was alive, rest his soul. Yeah, he will think this bickering. It's a waste of time. Come home. I am home. This is home. Unaru, to dream for a moment. How will Paititi prosper when dawn comes in a world without threats coming from the outside? Aren't you such a threat? Remake the world? We all create destiny, together, as we are. Everything I've ever done has been for Paititi. Everything! When it was divided, I unified it! I am the only one who sees the real threat here. You come and go as if your life here is optional. Yes. I have lived the outside world, and I have seen what's to come. Every day, it encroaches. Paititi will not survive its invasion. Everything we are will be taken or destroyed. Well, then we must fight for it together, according to the will of its people. By restoring the sun. Hmm? That will only ensure Paititi's safety for a moment. But then, it doesn't protect us from discovery, invasion. Our destiny is to be doomed. No! No, we... We must be bold. Decisive. Act with me. I need your intelligence, your resilience in my world. A world ruled by the cult of Kukulkan? Or should I say Trinity? If it's control you want, you can have it. Just help me now ensure by Titi's safety, and then, by all means, you can govern it as you wish. I will give you the throne. I will do it. No. I will find the box and restore the sun. May it's like be your judge. Why do you think so little of me? <laughs> Take her back to her cell. You can send me back, but I will never betray your people. No, you will just fail them. The box is gone. A missionary, Andres Lopez. He stole it 400 years ago. What? You just wasted your life searching in the wrong place. Leave me now.
sí, eso era su instrumento. have taken root after his death. Okay, the Eclipse and the Heron. <sighs> what am I missing? Wait, did Lopez leave this? The heart of the serpent is in the cup. This is Commander Rourke. We've got a lead on the box. Send a team for Croft. Give this to Wetsley. He's a rifle heir. He must live by Titi. He's young, but strong. His spirit as noble as his blood. Don't go, keep talking to me. The box, he will tempt you. Resist. We all create our destiny. Where are you? I'm down by the docks. I see you. Hey, just about ready to go. On my way. Where's Unuratu? We are attacked. She died fighting Trinity. Oh no. Where is my mother? Your mother. She... She fought hard. But that's the leader's amulet. It belongs to you now. She was 
a warrior. The eclipse draws near. If we cannot restore the sun... I'll find the box. I won't let the cult of Cuckoo Khan get to it first. Begin the preparations for the burial chamber. Queen Unuratu will live on within us. Uchu, assist them with the boat. We will prepare for battle. The rebellion must succeed. We'll be back with the box. Take care. We will be ready when you return. So what's next? We'll head back to Kwakyaku, regroup and take it from there. that for another riddle. What did it say? The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. Well, it's better than nothing. I suppose. We need to find the box and end this. What is that? Well, look what I found. Don't move. Don't try me. Check over there. Final two. I've got a lock on the target.
like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone the down. The tsunami is coming, and this is the first of many catastrophes you're doing. I have to go. I'm the only one. You're the only one that can work. Making everything worse. <laughs> you're not. Hey, you're not. We can do this. <sighs> Come on. Where to next? Can't stay here. I don't know, Jonah! <laughs> What was that clue? Uh, the heart of the serpent, something. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. And what kind of cup are we talking about? Some kind of chalice? A chalice that's not very mine. Wait. It's not mine. The clue was left by a 17th century missionary, Andrea Lopez, a Jesuit. The serpent in the chalice is a symbol of St. John. We're looking for a Christian holy site. Like a church of San Juan? That's a pretty common name. Could be dozens. Not within trekking distance from Paititi. Come on, the road is this way. We'll get out of here, talk to some people. Okay. What would I do without you? Let's split up. I'll look for signs of Lopez. We'll ask around, see what we can find out. My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. You wanna go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. The stone faces have always been Sara's obsession. 
Most people come here looking for treasure, but not Sara. She just wants answers. Have you been friends a long time? Since we were kids. She was the nerd. I was always skipping school and stealing my grandma's. Abby, can you help me with this? It's broken. Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well, I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella. Another member of the field study. I checked on her after the first tremors this morning, but her tent was empty. You should ask Manu. He probably told her where to find Elrado. This is serious. We had a fight last night. A bad one. I'm sorry, Guillermo. I didn't realize. Please, continue. You had a fight. I don't mean to pry, but... It's all right. We've been very close friends for almost a year, and I think both of us would like there to be more, but... Neither of us has broached the subject. Isa and Sarah, they often don't get along. Sorry, Sarah, but it's true. Because Sarah insists on her team being very down to earth, while Isa has a passion for folkloric tales of hidden temples. I often get caught in the middle. Those stories always come from somewhere. Even if most of it is made up, there'll be some kernel of truth to it. That's Isa's viewpoint too. Anyway, a man who lives here named Manu who's full of these kinds of stories. He convinced her there's a secret creep hidden around here, and last night she asked me to come with her and find it. I refused, and we got into the old fight. It ended with her calling me a hidebound coward, and me calling her a... a foolish child. So she ran off? Yes. To as she put it, prove all you naysayers wrong. This morning I heard rumors that she vandalized the cemetery last night. That's when I started looking for her. When I found her missing with no one knowing anything, I started to worry. What if she went looking for the crypt and something happened? I could never forgive myself. All right, you stay here. So if there's news or she comes back, you'll know about it. I'll go looking for Isabella, starting with the cemetery. You'd do that? To be honest, I'm as curious about that crypt as she is. Branch of medical science. And that child's grandmother was a dowser. The things people ignore that are right in front of their noses. Some people are afraid to believe in what they can't understand. Ha! Huh, you sound like Isa. Isabella, the archaeologist. You know her. A smart girl, a good researcher, and unafraid to admit there are things she doesn't know. She's the one who broke the cross. By climbing on it. I don't know what was in her head. I tried to stop her, but she was very upset about something. Angry and full of grief at the same time. Do you know where she is now? I'm looking for her. I don't know. After the cross broke, she ran away. But I didn't see which direction. In the state she was in, I knew better than to try to interfere with her. I'm sorry. That's all right. You've given me more information than I had. Do you need some help with this cross? I do. But first we have to get those children out of the way. It isn't safe for them to be running around while we work. That blind trickster filled their heads with tales of treasure. And they think I mean to steal it. I'll talk to them. Hey. 
Hey, get away from here. It's our treasure. It's getting quite late. How about postponing the hunt until tomorrow? No, we're not leaving till we find it. We'll sleep here if we have to. Oh, I hope it doesn't come to that. Is there anything I can do to help? No, we told you. You're not getting our treasure. Anu said if we find it, we can keep it. Hmm, that's a shame. The sisters told me you were very good at sharing, and I do know a lot about treasure hunting. You know the sisters? She could tell on us. I won't tell if you won't tell. I have a secret too. I'm the brave adventurer Lara Croft. Whoa! We won't tell. You can help us. If you find the treasure, we'll split it, even. You've got a deal. What do you need? Manu told us we need to solve a riddle to find the treasure. Are you any good at riddles? I'm an expert. Let's hear it. I want you to take my supply. I'm nourished when the heavens cry. If I get sick, a village dies. Who, Who am, am I? I? There's something there. Looks like there's something here. Fool's gold and costume jewelry. <laughs> but the kids will love it. So did you find anything? I sure did. Look at this. We're rich. Hold on, hold on. We said everyone gets an equal share, so... Oh no, I couldn't possibly accept any of your treasure. You mean it? Absolutely. I knew it right away when I saw you. I said there's a real hero. Please, please, it was nothing. I only did what any reasonable person would do. Thanks for finding the treasure. We're going to show it to Manu. What the hell happened here? Oh. Lopez had his disciple wall him in and then... Bang. No witnesses. Only the hands of the Righteous One may seize destiny from mine. I guess it's you then. He led us on this goose chase. He sabotaged every clue. All to keep this box from Trinity. And the people of Paititi. I was totally consumed by it.
Where is she? I just need the box. Fuck you! Well, I guess we're done here. Release him, and I will give you the box. Laura, what are you doing? I've lost enough people. <laughs> I know you have. Your father was brilliant. He was taken from me before I could know. He was my friend. But he was obsessed, relentless. You didn't know him. He refused to see the potential for destruction in his work. He had to be stopped. You had him killed. He was going to lead the public to Paititi. Everything I love, everything I fought for. My world would have been destroyed. And what about my world? Oh, come on. You can't think it's the same. It is to a nine-year-old girl. I was a child. There was too much at stake. An entire civilization, hundreds of years of independence, thousands of lives. I had no choice. There's always a choice. It's not too late. You can honor Unaratu and restore the sun. No. The threat must be removed. You're a low, selfish, murdering coward. And you, Lara? How many lives have you ended? Hmm? In pursuit of what? Laura, go! Stop him! How much longer to Paititi? Almost there. I'm sorry I lost the box. It's not your fault. It's... It's Dominguez. It's Trinity. All the way back, as far as I can remember, it's always been them. I could have had a family. Everything could have been different. We will get the box, and we will stop Dominguez.
Your Highness. Lara. Where, where is the box? Who has it? But the death of the sun draws near. We'll get it back before he completes the ritual. This will not be easy. We'll have to adjust the plan. Please, take your time to prepare yourself. We'll gather intelligence and fighters. Thank you. I'll stay here and lend Uchu a hand. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Lara, it's good to see you again. <laughs> you too, Uchu. How are the preparations going for Etsley's coronation? Not well, sadly. Shortly after you left Paititi, a group of hunters pulled Zan's body from the wilderness. Zan? Was he one of the men you sent out? To retrieve the champion's bone, yes. Lara, I hate to ask you, but... But would I go and get the champion's bow? It's a lot to ask. This is the most difficult of the items to retrieve. Zan was one of our best. May I ask what makes this bow so special? Queen Unaratu's ancestors carved it from the first Seba tree to grow in the wilderness outside the city. It has been handed down through generations. She bestowed it upon Sairi, Etsli's father, on their wedding day. It joins the two families together, but it was lost many years ago, taken by the Nahua. The Nahua? That's someone who has the power to transform into an animal, right? Yes. This one stalks the jungle outside the city. Envious, it tricks Sairi into giving it the bow. Etsli is the rightful heir of the champion's bow. Without it, he cannot be king. Okay. Point the way. Thank you. You will find the entrance directly across from here. Champion's bow. The final piece to herald in the future of Paititi. And what of the Nakwa? Did you face it? I did. It's dead. Tell me, what shape did it take? It was a jaguar. Ah, the most powerful of its forms. It must have seen you as a formidable foe. Uchu, how long has this Noal been in the jungle? As children, there were always stories to keep us from straying beyond the bounds of Paititi. But since Amaru took power, the Nakwa has been more active. You believe Amaru commands the Nawal? Yes, to keep his hands on our throats, but no longer. You have done a great thing for the future of Paititi, Lara. I would be honored if you would join us for the ceremony of kings. The honor would be mine. Here, I have something for you. This is from the armor Etsli's father, Sairi, wore. It is a symbol of your bravery. I would like you to have it. Thank you, Uchu. <laughs> Son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, step forth. Within the Savior's amulet is the wisdom of your ancestors. Listen to it so that you will enjoy an equity and mercy in all judgments. Within the champion's bow is the strength of your ancestors. Respect it so that you will enjoy responsibility and fairness in leadership. Finally, 
Within you, young Edsley, is the future. Infuse your role as king with action. Create hope. Create love. Not by passively waiting for grace to come down from up on high, but by doing what you can to make grace happen yourself. People of Pai Titi, it is with great pride that I introduce to you Etsli, son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, and your king! How is the plan coming together, Etsli? We have options. Uchu? Kukulkan's army will follow the Sakpe to the Great Stone Bridge to reach the Pyramid. If we approach them head on, we have the best chance to intercept them, but we could easily be overwhelmed. If we go in this way, it'll be more secure, but our timing would have to be perfect, or they'd slip through our fingers. Can we do both? If we approach head-on, I can go around the other way and act as a sniper. They'd be trapped. No approaches without risk, but... I believe this is the best option. Good. Then... On your order. Gather the troops. Let's go. Every part, their path lies that way. Lara, I want you to have this for luck. Etsy, I can't. After today, the eclipse will no longer represent us. We keep the sun, but you remove the shadow. Thank you. Jonah. You too, little bird. Mira. Was this Unaratu's destiny? You're the Crimson Fire. I think we're supposed to work together to defeat Kuku Khan.
is mine to complete! They've chosen wrong. It's all wrong! No! It was always theirs. Give us the box. No. Never. I must protect by Titi. We all create destiny. Not just you. All of us. Together. something to say about that. <laughs> my loves! Will you hold still for a second? Uh, oh, yes, my white queen. One. <laughs> Can I see? Of course. There's you, and me, and your dad. Where are we? Hawaii. 
With this key and the silver box, we can remake the world. With our weakness, root. If you had that power, what would you do? My brave girl, who is not expecting a jaguar attack. Where shall we go next for our real adventure? I hear uh, the Antarctic is lovely this time of year. Dad! Oh no, well then uh, perhaps the salt flats of Utah. Oh, Richard. I know where we're going. You do? Hawaii! Oh yes. Yes, that could be really nice. <laughs> well, in that case, Goodbye, Mum. Goodbye, Dad. Catastrophes come, the god Kukulkan must be sacrificed to power the sun. Otherwise the world dies. Sacrifice a god? The sacrifice is my duty. But if my training fails me, the crimson fire will guide me and hold me to my promise. I like this world. It's it's not perfect, but everything I love now is in it. After today, the eclipse will no longer represent us. We keep the sun, but you remove the shadow. Protected. Muratu, my mother, a warrior, a rebel, a queen. She will be venerated for generations. I miss you. Now, we will heed her spirit to reunite my Titi. Thank you. So I'm head back to Kwakiaku tomorrow. Really? Missing the jungle. Off in search of the elusive fish tree. <laughs> uh, Abby and I are headed to the coast for a few days. I'm glad. <laughs> what about you? I think I'll stay here for a while longer. And uh, restore a few more artifacts? I don't know. So what will you do? 
Etsy will help me figure it out. He'll let me know what Paititi needs to rebuild. Well. I'm done searching. I want to be around the living. All right. Don't you have to pack or something? <laughs> now you are stuck with me till tomorrow. <laughs> You're welcome to stay as long as you wish, Lara. Safe travels, Jonah. Once Paititi is restored, perhaps I can join you and learn more about the world beyond Paititi. Anytime. You just say the word. You too, Uchu? If he wants to. So, Jonah, Lara tells me you have a girlfriend. Uh, uh, we will come to the wedding. Uh, <laughs> Wait, <whoa. laughs> Edsley, why don't you show me the plans? I had it all wrong. I thought that taking control of my life meant venturing out to do something extraordinary. I thought I had to fix everything. But the mysteries of the world are to cherish more than to solve. I'm just one of their many protectors. I'm not sure what the future has in store, Jonah, but whatever adventure's on the horizon, I can't wait to meet it. I'll try not to take myself too seriously. Tea, Miss Croft. Lovely. For now, it just feels good to be home.